wax brush, furniture finishing wax, and a clean absorbent cloth or towel. Today we're going to be waxing this end piece, which is painted in Green Oasis. We're going to be using the charcoal wax with my palm brush. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the drawer, put that to the side, my palm brush, as well as my black wax, circular motion. And this piece has already been distressed. I didn't want to do a heavy, slightly sanded, smooth to the touch. You can tell a little bit of the black has already been applied, which I'm going to redo to darken. I'm going to just work my way up. So we're going to start with our legs. Make sure you get into the crevices and the corners, those great detailed areas which will hold the all natural wax. Okay, if you get it on the bottom. And the natural wax made right here in the United States with no VOC and low odor. You can do circular motions with the palm brush, or you can go along the grain up and down. I prefer to do circular motions. So you get into those nicks and crannies, turn rotate it a little bit easier. And what's nice is the natural wax is it does go a long way. It can be safe to use indoor, outdoor. No harsh chemicals, no harsh drying. With natural waxes, it will take several days to dry, about two to three days. Which you can speed that process up with a household fan. Blowing overnight. I actually painted the back of this piece, so I'll distress and wax that. Make sure you get the back of the legs. Circular motion does cover a little bit more of the area rather than just the down stroke. don't have to put as much arm grip into it with the palm brush compared to our large waxing brush which has a handle. We designed the palm brush for those with the arthritic hands. indoors and outdoors you can actually use it on bare wood painted wood so it's got multi-purpose use to it but with the painted wood it actually gives more of a drastic look this is always the hard part the inside so which I'm actually gonna have to do is I'm actually gonna have to lay my piece down make it a little bit easier, but I'll do a sideways lay. No damage. Just gives that uh, distressed look to it a little bit more. With a little plop. <laughs> now with going on the insides, 
like I said, it's a little harder because you're getting into the smaller space of the grooves and as well as you're kind of banging yourself around in there. But once you actually go and do your wipe down, it really doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to apply as much wax on the inside because it'll spread throughout the whole piece. So now we are going to go and wax the drawer. I left the fixture on because I'm just going to wax right over it to give that drifty feel to it. And the white is actually going to make this charcoal black really stand out. Make sure you get into those crevices. You know, it's a little bit easier if you actually do take the fixture off. but I wanted to give that full effect look. And I'm gonna go around one more time just to make sure I covered all my areas. See, there's some areas on the legs that I missed, especially underneath. In this corner and under here. So now I'm going to let my piece sit for about 15, 20 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, about a half hour. And then from there, we are going to do a wipe down. Fifteen to 30 minutes have gone by now, so we are going to wipe our piece. We're going to grab a clean absorbent cloth. As you can tell, it's a little bit dirty, but I'm going to use the side I did not use. Rotate. You're going to constantly be rotating your cloth. So I'm going to be working from my legs up because my fingers are going to be actually touching the piece. So here we go. And I'm not going to do a heavy wipe. I'm going to do a light wipe. So the distressing, the semi distressing, as well as the charcoal wax comes through the layered look. And always following your painting strokes when waxing and wiping. Recommended to always rotate your rag to your next area. actually darkening up the green oasis and as you can tell I'm just leaving some of the lines to kind of give a lined look in the wax just keep going throughout the whole piece make sure you get your legs underneath corners behind Now 
as you can tell, when you do not rotate your rag, you get those splotches. So like I said, recommended to constantly rotate throughout the whole project. actually should have uh, wiped down the inside first but as you know now you like recommended to wipe the inside and then go on the outside and with the wax being in the inside it's not going to have a full effect um, you'll still see some of the natural but I'll try to bleed it through with that natural paint that's in there And here I'm going to stroke out until I get my look that I like and then I'll bleed it long way. hard to get the inside. <laughs> here, make sure you get underneath the top. Make sure my fingerprints are gone. So then the dry tying, which you're going to allow here now, about 12 to 15 hours after you do your first wipe, you will then go with a second wipe, once again, the 12 to 15 hours. And then recommended to let your piece sit for about two to three days for the curing of the natural wax. And so with here, I'm just going to stay with my brush strokes, get my edges. And one more time, I'll do the top. Just kind of blend it. Okay. Double check to make sure you have no fingerprints left behind, any extra wax in the corners that you aren't wanting, as well as underneath the legs. Kind of have to get down and look. Down here, I kind of missed. Right. And then we'll go to our drawer. And I missed the top right here, but that's okay because I have some on my rag, so when I wipe, it'll go on. You see the look that it's giving with the white fixture. Make sure you get your bottom, your sides. it in to let it sit and dry. One more wipe. Right there. Do a double look. I look beautiful with the charcoal. And that's the basic